I've seen dudes talk about uh, how Asians shouldn't aren't allowed to do hip hop, and they go and teach in Asia, and they'll oh. go and teach in Switzerland and say white people can't do hip hop, well, and I'm they, like, stop they, teaching them. And welcome back, everybody, to another amazing episode of the Careful Boys, where we have a careful girl here today. Let's give it up for Kristen, y'all. Farina. 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 Cool last name. Farina. Farina. What's the origin? Italian. Oh shit, I should have oh, known that. Spicy. Farina. Farina. So Farina. Let me get some extra about... Farina on this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about how you can't say the word retarded anymore, right, Nick? No, I think I think it's a uh, well. Nick, Nick loves that word, too, but I feel like everyone's saying it now. Wait, wait, so like everyone gets mad. Here's the point on that word. It is. The medical term is mental retardation. So I feel like if it's used in the right that context, is the medical term. Yeah. Yeah, and if it's yeah. not offensive, you gotta put your hands up. Everybody's doing it. Yeah. Like this. Be chill though. So if, if the doctor tells you, "Hey, you're mentally retarded," what does that mean? What do you mean? The doctor goes, because it's a medical term, right? Yeah. So if the doctor goes, <laughs> looks like you're mentally retarded, how do you take that? Something tells me he's not telling well, the person like, who's retarded. <laughs> Here's how you relate it. So, so you got, you're smart. If you cause, if you're like, you're gay, you can actually be gay and be homosexual, but you can also use it um, and be like, oh, that's so gay. So it just right. depends on the way that you're using. Yeah, terms. intention and context, yeah. which right, the right. world doesn't fucking get anymore. <laughs> you can't, you can't, so you can't, sassy you can't use medical terms like, like what, um, another, another one is I think hermaphrodite. When you're... It's like it's called like intersex or something now. Mm. You can't say yeah. hermaphrodite. I learned hermaphrodite in biology when you have both. Who says it? Who says that though? I You're learned it from true lies. True lies. True, true lies. Because some well, creatures are actual hermaphrodites. They got both. Yeah. What creatures? Like a seahorse. Seahorse. Yeah, like if there's a population, if there's too many uh, females, then some of the females would convert into males. Whoa. Oh. And and vice versa. There's a school of fishies right. like that too, when the. When they're all fit, uh, when they balance out their population yeah. by like being like, you know, there's too many girls in this room. Well, don't worry about that. And then some of the girls turn into boys. <laughs> I think that's that's a talk yeah. like that. that happened on Jurassic Park when life finds a way. Nice. Away, nice. I think earthworms are also hermaphrodites. Something like that. Am I allowed to say that? I think that's why you can't say it is because it, it, it misrepresents the culture that the culture of earthworms? Well no, but like, you know, if it's not it's like calling us Oriental. It's like that's not right. <laughs> Yo, but no key though, still before, funny. <laughs> before I knew Oriental was a bad thing. I thought it was so cool yeah. because my friend was a part of this group called the Oriental Bad Boys ooh. and I was like, ooh, you Oriental Bad Boy. Are you sure it was Oriental or the Bad Boy part? No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I think... The descriptor is good. Yeah, dude. If there was no <laughs> negative word for Oriental, right, I would rather re be Oriental than Asian. Because Asian just sounds like, eh. yeah, It's got the mean. Asian. Yeah, you know? I know what you but mean. Oriental, it's like, ooh, it's like Oreo. I love Oreos. The <laughs> sound is That's like. That's the association? Because yeah. yeah. eh, it sounds Oreos. like eh, Asian. You know, like yeah, yeah. Oreental is like Oreo. Yeah. I, love, I love Oreos and lentils. lentils. <laughs> I must like you. Oreo lentils, Oreo lentils. yeah. Mm. I don't know. I mean, that's like that's how they came up with Google. It's easy to pronounce. It's, ooh, Google. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. true. I think that's, that's the... That must be the thing. It's like they're trying to get rid of the negative connotation, but it's gonna keep changing. Do, so, do you think that there's like a scientific term for it, and then society takes it, puts a negative connotation, yes. and then they go, "Oh fuck, we gotta change it up now." That's now what happens all the time with words. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's like when we use "girl" as an insult. Like, ah, oh, don't be such a girl. You know, and then girls don't like that. Mr. Miyagi like, said that. Yeah, don't be a girl. Or I guess I guess in present day it's like a Karen nowadays. Yeah. Now nobody's Karen's naming anybody thing. Karen exactly. because that's like the wrong way the to go about it, right? The word was fine. It was a name, and then people put an association, and then people get offended. Yep. And it's fucked up. Or, or how everybody named their daughter like Daenerys, and then the season finale came out, and everyone's like, "Fuck." She's oh, an yeah. incestual okay. lady. No, no. Uh, what happened to the finale? I watched the finale, but it made me go. Fall. I'm not even gonna go there anymore, Bart. Really? 
because he probably didn't feel that. The way. ending of Game of Thrones. I thought she, I thought I think right? Daenerys is a great name. Right? Wasn't like, like that. Yeah, no, but, but then like the Jon Snow and the Daenerys reveal. What about it? Now, regardless of it, no, I either, wanted them to I, fuck I, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, You're I wasn't mad at them for. fucking, which yeah. isn't the point of this conversation. The it was just more the idea of like her being the hero, yeah. but then actually her not being the hero by the end. But you like imagine you named your daughter after a hero. Well, that's what you get. But then at the end, it's written that she's not quiet. That's your fault for naming the mid season. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. That's like, I didn't know Walter White was gonna be like that. Yeah. Well, he was like that in the middle <laughs> of the first season. But he's still You're like, guy. I didn't know he was gonna fucking be a meth dealer. You seen like. A nice man in the first. He season. was just a chemistry teacher in the beginning. Yeah. It tells you that in the first episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's already running around in his know. underwear. I didn't, know. I didn't know that was a premise. So, uh, it's kind of like the word gay. Like that didn't originally mean homosexual. I meant happy. A lot of people use it. But now like, you say songs. that, you sound gay. Yeah. Yeah. There's Christmas songs with gay in it. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get have a gay old time. <laughs> I was feeling gay and fucking. What was the word? We're we're all happy. We're being it's Mary. Like joyous. Yeah, gay and merry. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be hella gay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they had hella in there. Yeah. And the new versions, yeah. <laughs> Bay well, Area Christmas do, songs. Yeah. <laughs> words do change all the time. Like, like there's like, like words that are profane and whatever, and then you you read them and you're like, that means nothing to me. Yeah. Like bloody. Like they say that shit in the UK. Oh, bloody hell! It's supposed to be a bad word, and I'm like, no. <laughs> it means nothing. I like that. And I'm like, Intent no. and context means everything. Yeah. Because, like, someone, if they went, like, tch, even, like, looked you up and down, you might as well said, fuck you to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very yeah. Asian. Yeah, I don't need to hear the actual F U C K. That's true. This guy despises me. When people are talking <laughs> shit in their native tongue, you can kind of know that they're talking shit, but you're mm -hmm. like, yeah. I don't care what you're saying because I don't understand. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Yeah. Language is a bitch though, like the idea of like you were just saying that that when it's in my mind right now, like when somebody goes like tss, but it's like from their culture, it could mean something like that, right? Like the F word yeah. uh, versus like uh, all the Chinese people that always go like nigga, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, which please don't use that as a sound bite, you assholes out there. Um, <laughs> but the point is, no, this is like what the f Fuck did he just say? <laughs> Knowing that you can take like language, put them in the in inappropriate context and turn it into something that's like offensive or abusive yeah. mm -hmm. over like the period of time, you know. Clear it up right now. What does that mean in Mandarin? It really means just like this. Yeah. Like this, uh, this, this, that, right? literally, or yeah. that. You're well, just saying the word that's such a common word. Right? It's a thinking word. It's like us saying, um, um, um. So when they like, are uh, thinking, they'll say that. Yeah, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, what's the... And, the, and they... It's like, the kind. And he's like, this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The kind. Exactly. <laughs> and then same with, like, Jiga, Jiga is like, like that, right? Yeah. So the idea of, like, saying both of those words, but then, you know, we all grew up with, like, Jay-Z songs, too, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's like... He was speaking it Chinese. Makes, yeah, he's was. speaking Chinese all the time, but yes, he gets... Yeah. That's why he's worldwide. He's famous. <laughs> that's why he's worldwide. That's what I thought was weird, is when you take the... Something that's not a good word in one region, and you force a total foreign region to follow that. I think that's fucked. Like when there was that uh, that one uh, little Korean girl was like s singing, mounting the lyrics to like a song, and it had nega in it, and she she was just saying, and then all these people flushed her social media, being like, you can't say that. Yeah, and, and like, then she, she had to apologize for it. Apologize. What's she saying? Like a Korean song? A Korean, yeah. It was a, or was it? Act, I think it was a. Chinese, I guess a Chinese, Chinese song that had that word yeah, in she it. Singing a, she was just singing along to a Chinese song, but like all these people made it seem like she was doing something bad, and she got super like anxiety from it because she didn't know what she did, and then she ended up issuing an apology, wow. and everybody was like, "Why? The, you don't even know what you're fucking saying sorry for? Yeah. Like, why would you force that?" Yeah. That's, That's the mob, when, uh, dude. I remember during COVID, right? There was this, there was this trend for Chinese farmers who uh, would show their cotton field and then eat their watermelon, oh, yeah, I remember right? That. And yeah. then they were like, they were like, uh, it was like a trend, like a challenge for them. Like, they're like, hey, look at my harvest. And I guess cotton farmers also like farmed watermelon too. And then they didn't know about that whole racist stuff being in America. So Chinese TikTok was doing all this stuff and then like, I guess like black Twitter got a hold of it and they're like, look at these guys, they're so fucking racist. And it was this whole thing during lockdown where they were just like, fuck these Chinese people hating black people. And I was just like, dude, that has nothing to do with what's happening in America. That's like, <laughs> that's yeah. just, they don't even know Both the sides history. don't understand. Yeah. 
They're just like, hey, look at look at my harvest. We just need good watermelon, okay? That's all we need. <laughs> I love watermelon. We just need good fucking watermelon. Okay, but, then, but then there is that other dude, that fucking Chinese guy that went to Africa and started a channel where he does make fun of Africans. That, that was yeah, funny. That was, so so was set making, that guy on fire. Yeah, yeah, not the him. watermelon get guy. Get that fucking guy, dude. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, yeah beat him. his ass, but well, keep the did. watermelon guy. If you understand wow. common sense, right, that's... You can see the intent. That guy's being a fucking dick. Yeah. Versus a farmer that's like, hey, look at what I grew. Right. And then it's like, hey, a lot of people grow cotton. It's like, what are you talking about? You know, I don't know. It's a hot commodity. It's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not the culture we live in, so it's kind of funny to judge it overseas. Isn't that what we all do, though? You know yeah, it's because yeah. we're so fucking bored. We're and we go against it. easy and targets. Internet. internet, you can yeah. hide behind the keyboard and say whatever you want. How do you guys feel on, on this? There was this um, TikTok video, some dancers in the community. Um, there was this girl, she's white, and she had some African-American friends. Um, and they were doing like this little dance, and the songs, you know, it's a rap song saying some stuff, and people just like started tearing her apart but she's like dancing with her friends there was not she wasn't trying to I be know. offensive at yeah. all what were they what were they complaining about i don't know like the song said monkey in it and they're like doing like it was like a TikTok dance that was really popular but she was with her friends everyone was doing it um she's obviously not racist yeah. um you know she just has some friends and people just started shitting on her like crazy yeah. wow. i feel like it's so hard like i don't even i don't even put any bad words in my stuff because I don't want it to be perceived the wrong way. Yeah. I mean, she wasn't singing the song. No. She was dancing to a song that already exists. Yeah, with her friends. With the her dance friends. was already there. Um, so, but people still, it. she yeah. had to apologize. Was she good at the dance though? Yeah, she's fired. Okay. So I feel like dance is, is going through that more now than ever where it's really? like, oh, like you're not, you can't use hip hop. You're Asian. Like you'll see that every now and then you're like, you fucking kidding? <laughs> like, tell Michael Jai White to take his gi off. Then. Yeah, bro. No more Shotokan karate. It just sucks because none of the people, none of the people. Tell who, Bruce Leroy to stop doing yeah, kung fu. Cut that it's shit gotta out. go both ways, man. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can't have kung fu. We actually got a lot of shit for that. Kinjas? Yeah, Kinjas got a lot of uh, shit for that during the uh, pandemic at the at the rise of that. How do you feel about that? Just the idea. Tell Iverson to stop playing for China then. <laughs> you gotta undo everything. <laughs> you wanna have a divorce? It's not. <laughs> It shouldn't happen on any side because the people who fucking made hip hop, the whole idea was that everyone could do it. So yeah, it's it, kind of fucking weird that now we're at this age and it's like people are taking over and gatekeeping it all of a sudden. Yeah, gatekeeping is the worst, huh? Yeah. Let everyone enjoy it all. Plus it's a thing that you have to you have to be good at it in like what I didn't think was fair is that like okay, I'm going to start doing this thing that was created by black communities and then sustained by uh, Puerto Rican communities and it came all the way to fucking here. I still have to beat those guys. I still have to be better than them. I still have to like win my way up. Yeah. I'm not just doing it and now I fucking get paid. So you battled against like you you, have to. you battle against Puerto Ricans. Yeah, but you have to gain respect like anything. You battle against everyone. But that's the whole but specifically idea. Puerto it's, not, it's not an entry level thing where you can just start doing it and now you're the fucking king of it. It's like yeah. no at the same time you have to earn respect little by little. Plus, plus, but plus if you suck are, people don't give you shit. But the people that are saying this shit, they weren't even alive no. when these things got, it's like the new gen that's trying to be hella woke, but they don't quite understand all of the shit that went down during civil rights and all that. And then when they talk about culture vulture bullshit, like they don't even know the difference between appreciation and appropriation. Mm, and yeah. then like, even if we're talking about appropriation too, like that's a really difficult thing to objectively define. Yeah. Like we can kind of guess it like yeah, if someone's exploiting something or like making a profit Yeah, I could kind of see it but like it's still diff Really extremely hard to define what that thing is exactly mm. Like and I always give this example too because like yeah I'm a Japanese dude and if I opened up a ramen shop with no experience people would think like oh It's authentic and I can fool the public, but there are <laughs> non-Japanese yeah. that you know, dedicate their lives to a craft, like making sushi or ramen or whatever, right? And then they might want to open up their restaurant. And they're probably way more authentic than I am, but then mm -hmm. people will look at them and be like, oh, look at this fraud, yeah, look at this culture on. vulture. Yeah. But he did way more due diligence. I just bu busted out some top ramen packs and just fucking and said, boiled it. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then maybe I don't even speak Japanese, but guess what? Hey, they're gonna believe me more than him. Yeah, because he can't say nothing to you. Yeah. Uh. So who's the right one? I don't know. I think you are. 
I am. <laughs> I think you are, because you're eyes. I have birthright. I don't, I don't think there should be color lines between anything that somebody made. Like, oh, what, if, what if Chinese people barred us from using their tech? Can you imagine how much shit we can't do? Yeah, we couldn't can. do this. <laughs> no, no math for you. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's their tech math. Nah. But my my number one thing about the desk meeting and all, a lot of the people that are are supporting that fucking idea of who like, are they? You, know, you, I mean, there's no reason to put them out. The only but, way, the only I way you I dance. want names, yo, is you gotta fucking walk into the room and go ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> that's the only they're like, you act more fucking Asian. Like, yeah. fine, I'll be my own culture then. I'll fucking walk into the room like this. Yeah. I want to bring this back. I've, I've seen dudes talk about uh, how Asians shouldn't, aren't allowed to do hip hop, and they go and teach in Asia. And they'll oh. go and teach in Switzerland and say white people can't do hip hop. Well, and I'm like, they, stop they, teaching them. Well, if the Asian people can't do it, they gotta teach it then. They gotta import it from overseas. Well, yeah, at the end, it, it all comes down to money. It's like, yeah. you know. It, it, it really is just kind of like a, a, a really weird who, you know, double edged sword in terms of like perspective, right? It's like, uh, I remember people might randomly give us shit for like dancing on like Kendrick Lamar. But I also mm -hmm. remember like being super inspired. That fool wore a fucking Chinese outfit. Exactly, yeah. he was Kung Fu Ken. He did an entire creative yeah, expression yeah. off of like Kung Fu and Asian Black people culture. love Kung Fu, dude. They, they do, they do and Kung they're good at it. <laughs> and wait, but he hired And Asian you. people never get mad at it. We love it. We love it. Honestly, yeah. it's sick. The only dudes I know that actively do Kung Fu right now are all black dudes. 100%. Yeah. And the Wu Tang Clan owes us owes us licensing fees. And we learned kung fu from two white guys. But we'll, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll never win that argument in America. That's the craziest no, we'll part. Win. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like not this is what's crazy to me though. Like when you're okay, it's um, in America that shit is sensitive, right? When you're in that country, like for example Japan, they love it when tourists come and they put on kimonos and put on the clothes and eat the food because they're just like, oh, they love our shit. That's love. They're, they're yeah. like, they're giving us business, right? And I made this like, I was thinking about this, like with this whole like culture, like appropriation shaming shit, it's actually hurting a lot of communities and businesses. Because if you think about Chinatown, right? That used to be a tourist spot where people that didn't have enough money to go to China, they can experience the culture and they can go to Chinatown. And then what do people do when they go there? They buy the umbrellas, they buy the like the the, the outfits. They buy the merch. They buy the merch. And but the now world. you you don't see any any white folks really buying the merch because they're afraid that they're gonna be like blamed or whatever. And then you see all these like little old Chinese grandmas desperate to fucking sell their shit. And now the community is like losing money, right? Because like, like everyone's afraid to be racist and shit. Yeah, but Joe, my culture is not your prom dress. That's what pisses me off because these stupid fuckers. And here's the thing is most Asian kids are not going to Chinatown and buying all those clothes anyway. So, but they're the ones complaining hurting their own fucking communities and businesses. And I'm like, this is the stupidest shit ever, dude. Like, what about the folks that the are out there trying to create like jobs in that community and you're hurting it because now the tourism isn't coming there. Yeah. So I'm like, how do you, I don't know. It's just stupid. All dude. I know is that the top selling Kung Fu song of all time is a bunch of black dudes and that <laughs> shit is dope. Yeah, and they love it. And that gets me hyped that they love Kung Fu. You know, even when we were just talking about Elon Musk and like verified Twitter and stuff like that, what is kind of cool about in that connection is the idea that uh, less keyboard warriors would be around if everybody was verified too, right? Like, cause yeah. you wouldn't be willing to talk shit or, or be oh, the person true. on the front line if it was like an actual person could be held accountable as well. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're just a fucking digital account and nobody can go back and trace you and you, if you click their profile, they're like a private account or nobody follows them. It's kind of like, of course you're a keyboard warrior. Yeah. You really can stand behind a line of digital. Yeah, players. most keyboard warriors are people with burner accounts. They're cowards because they can't show who they are. They're afraid. Exactly. They're just, but like how many yeah. people would do that if it was like their fucking actual digital profile and mm -hmm. like where they live and all that thing. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you, you wouldn't be spreading hate as quickly. There are some people though that are verified and famous that will still say the same exact shit as and a that, keyboard warrior. That is, that is always up for debate because like people are going to have opinions. But if you can at least be like, I'm still willing to say this and this is who I am. Yeah, yeah. I actually respect that. I respect that, I respect I credit that for a lot that. because Dude. it's like, hey, you're willing to talk your shit, you're willing to criticize others, you're you're willing to stand behind your words and people know who you are. To me, that's, even if I disagree with what they have to say or what they're perpetuating, yeah. I'm like, that takes a lot of guts. Like, good for you. 
But when you're hiding behind a burner account and you just want to harass people, talk <laughs> shit, do whatever, yeah. I'm like, you're a little bitch. Like, how horrible is your life that you have to do this? That should just be disqualified from the discussion every time. Yep. Totally. But then, yeah, when I did point out, so that video of that girl that was just singing and was it super innocent, and I posted like a comment on there being like, yeah, that's not fair to do. And then a bunch of like people tried to make it an anti-BLM thing that I said that. What? And I was like, how? <laughs> I really didn't get it. And a lot of those people that were talking shit to me were actually like established verified people that were like really pissed at the fact that I was supporting that she- It might have just been had. momentum yeah. of that time yeah, too, right? Yeah, because like would those people for sure say the same, you know, nowadays, especially after like all the BLM stuff that went down, you know what I mean? Like, I think everything is like oh, contextual to that, the, the fervor of society in that moment. Even it was BL a hot moment. Even BLM's crazy because speaking of momentum, Pre 2020, I always knew it as Bureau of Land Management, and then all of a sudden, the Bureau of Land Management. Because if you're in the, if you're in like hunting and shooting and off-roading community, you look for BLM all the time. You love BLM. Well, you want BLM to be everywhere. Yeah, because you, it's, it just means you can go into in the wilderness, you can go camp, you can do all these fun things with BLM. Bureau of Land Management. And now they, they, the new BLM is different than the BLM I know, which is land of all these fun places, and now BLM's all like. Grumpy and stuff. <laughs> Back to the full circle. Words Grump, changing. Yeah. Now I hear those three letters and it feels grumpy. <laughs> feels like they're mad at you. Huh? Yeah. You're like, I don't even do anything. Why are you mad at I've me? I've been supporting BLM since I'm on your team. team. Yeah. Did you see like BLM members were suing BLM like what? leaders because they burned like tens of millions of dollars? that the people were donating and it didn't even oh. go to the families yeah. that they say that it was going to support or black organizations like it just went to a lot of their friends running like I mean, lgbtq from, things and yeah. then like that wasn't even going to help the black community and then like and then like they they got audited and they just bought a hell of mansions and stuff like that in white neighborhoods yeah in white neighborhoods that they're afraid to live amongst <laughs> it's funny because that's that's no different like welcome to the land of nonprofit corruption that's every fucking yeah. nonprofit. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you become a nonprofit, it's gonna happen yeah. especially with the money that they made yeah. so stop being a dick <laughs> that's true <laughs>